Good evening. It's great to have all of you on this call with me. My name is Drew McDermott and I am super excited to have the opportunity to connect with all of you and to talk about this highly anticipated launch of the Neela Sports Performance Protein. And just a really quick background for the guests on the call this evening. Uh, who is Neolife? We are the world's leading nutrition company. This year we are celebrating 60 years of making world-class nutrition and we are currently distributing our products in over 50 countries around the world. And over the last six decades, we have been leaders in the scientific community in the field of whole food nutrition. We were the first nutrition company to ever have a scientific advisory board that ensures our products and everything that goes into our products are pure and of the highest standards. And we are on a mission. As a company and as a near life community, we are on a mission to make the world a healthier and a happier place through whole food nutrition. And we specialize in providing your body with the nutrients that will not only protect you, but will also help you with, live with more energy, more vitality. And there is no doubt in my mind that when you feel good, not only can you train harder, can you recover quicker, but you're more productive in every single aspect of your life. And so tonight's call is all about our sports, uh, sports performance protein. And this product was launched uh, a number of months ago in the US. And the results and the testimonies that have been coming out of the US have been truly outstanding. And our guest speaker tonight, Liz, has just sent the, spent the last 10 days launching this product all over our country. And we are extremely proud, in fact, we're extremely excited to make a sports protein of this quality available to the South African market. And right now, the sports protein industry is a very, very busy and competitive place. But unfortunately, it's, it's not a very regulated market. There's, not a, there's a lot of hype and a lot of claims, claims that are going, out, are going on out there. But behind the flashy branding, there's also a lot of synthetic sub-quality below par nutrition. Stuff you really don't want to be putting into your body if long-term health, vitality, and performance is what you're after. So I'm going to get stuck straight in tonight and introduce to you our guest speaker, Liz Geertz. Our near life family on the call know and love Liz very much. But for the benefit of our guests, um, Liz is a highly qualified and a real authority on the subject of nutrition. She has a fantastic understanding of the tools and the nutrition your body needs to be able to perform at its absolute best. And we will be answering some of your questions that have come in. But before we do that, I would like to welcome Liz to the call. And I'm going to unmute you. Liz, give me a second. Liz, are you there? Yeah, yes. Hello. Fantastic. Welcome to the call, Liz. Um, yeah. So, why Neil our sports performance protein? What are the unique selling points that, make, that are making this product so special? Okay, well, we've got some slides that I think we're going to share so that we can perhaps just, it's a little easier when it's visual. Um, so then we can chat about it. Yeah, so we, we've had, um, we've got many good products on the market, as you know, and we've got some excellent protein-based products. So you might say, well, why are we bringing out another one? But you can see by the name Sport Performance Protein, it's focused more, I would say, specifically on muscle tissue, really, because um, there's no denying the importance of muscles for physical fitness. Um, you know, it's the contraction of muscles that actually allow our bodies to perform any activity, whether it's running, lifting, throwing, climbing. It's not just associated with bodybuilding. Um, so, um, we want to, and also, of course, muscle tissue is constantly being remodeled. It's constantly being broken down and repairing literally every moment of every day. So we have to optimize uh, building, strengthening, and maintaining our muscles so that we can perform at our particular sport. And it doesn't mean we have to be an elite sports person. It's someone who's just basically active or focused on, on being fit. So I think if we can um, have a look at the first slide, because I can't see the slides on this side. Liz, how's that? Can you see your first slide? Um, no, I can't, but I'll, right, I'll just work from my, my notes here, no problem. So um, the performance protein, and we got a picture up of the, I can't see the slide, but um, you've got the product up there? Yep, we do. All right. So you'll see there we're talking about muscle match, and that makes this product specific 
differently from the other two products that we have, which is Neo Life Shake and Nutri Shake. Because basically, we're putting a, a protein component together that matches lean muscle tissue. That's the purpose of, of that name, muscle, muscle match. Um, and each serving is mixed with non fat milk to give us a, an amount of 26 grams of protein power. Um, yeah, so as I say, we are. That is our purpose to go towards muscle tissue. What I want to just, before I reference all the other details, um, is talk about the fact that we use 22 different amino acids, which is quite unique um, in the marketplace, because those are all the amino acids that we need from a nutritional point of view. Um, and those amino acids all have different functions to perform. You know, basically, we're all made of protein. It's a very dominant nutrient in our body. So. Our enzymes are made of protein. Yes, our muscles are made of protein, our hair, our skin, our nails, our hormones. So virtually even our thoughts become a protein. So all these proteins or amino acids of the 22 that I'm mentioning have a specific job to do. But there are certain of those 22 that gravitate specifically to muscle tissue or influence muscle tissue. And that's what we're talking about. So when we say muscle match, we're going to talk about the amino acids of those 22 that tend to influence muscle more specifically. And whey protein is a source of those amino acids that are very specific to muscle tissue. So let's bear in mind we've got the 22, but we're going to highlight the ones that, that gravitate or influence muscle tissue. And that's why we've talked about what you see there is BCAA which just simply stands for branch chain amino acids. That simply refers to particular amino acids that will go towards muscle tissue. And many people who are familiar in the sporting field um, will know that term, branch chain amino acids. It's simply got to do with the, the structure of the amino acid. And there are three of them in particular that of those 22 that go to muscle tissue. Leucine is one of those three. And so we've simply highlighted there because, and you'll see there, they go to build tissue, um, specifically lean tissue, and they also make sure that they regenerate um, muscle and there's retention of muscle tissue. So that is why we're talking about those three in specifically, never forgetting the 22. We've also added another two, or highlighted another two of those 22. We've increased the concentration. So that makes it different from the other products in as much as that although the 22 are there, there's a higher concentration or ratio of these specific ones to do the job that you can see on the slide. So I think let's move to the next slide. Okay. And there you'll see I've, I've put in there the 22 amino acids so we don't forget it, but we've obviously got all the essential vitamins and minerals that we need because using muscle tissue or doing any exercise still requires energy. So we have to have vitamins and minerals to enable us to release energy from the food that we're eating. Um, we specifically added extra chromium and magnesium because those help to regulate muscle tissue and nerve transmission and also sugar levels, which is very important. Um, you'll notice whenever we introduce a new product, we always bring in some new detail. For example, here we've, we've introduced a new sweetening system where we've, we've gone to honey, we've gone to, to grapes, and we've even gone to rice to get some of the sweetening nutrients out of, out of those foods to enable the product to perform well and so that we don't have to put anything artificial into the product. Some other terminology that is something that you will come across where we call protein sparing carbohydrates. Now, a lot of people tend to think what I'm looking for is protein because I've been talking about it after all relating to muscle. And um, people think that they only need to buy protein and that's what will do the work. But you have to be able to energize yourself and that muscle to do some work. So you have to have carbohydrates on hand. And many people make the mistake of, of buying a product that is very high in protein and perhaps doesn't even have any carbohydrate. And the body is simply going to have to get the energy from somewhere and it's going to actually change some of that protein into an energy source. So you're actually wasting some of that protein. So when we talk about protein sparing carbohydrates, we are using the carbohydrate to do the, help you to do the work and provide the energy. And it's sparing the protein for the job the protein is supposed to do. So that's an extremely important thing. The protoguard process, for those of you who are familiar with our products, um, will know that that's something we introduced, well, 50 years ago, in fact, um, where we protect, in other words, guard the protein. 
we don't enable, by the way we put it together, we don't allow the protein to be denatured when we take it from the food, put it into a shape form. And we do that by the way we blend it, by the way we use the moisture and the temperature. So it's a, a specific neo-life process, um, one that we've been introducing, as I say, for many years, and we have in all our nutrition products in terms of protein. Again, always an extra, some extra details, the enzymes that we have in there enable the product to be digested more effectively, enable you and I to be able to digest it more effectively. And what's amazing in this day and age is that nothing in this product is artificial. So there's no artificial flavors, colors, sweeteners, and no preservatives in the product, which I think is, is very unique. Um, if we go to the, the next slide, we'll see the glycemic response, very important. And that relates predominantly to the carbohydrate component, what we select or use, which means we give you the energy, but we don't spike your sugar. So we don't give you a, a boost of energy and then you run out of steam very, very quickly. So it's very important that the product is balanced. So it's not just, we're not just talking only protein here. We're looking at the whole picture and making sure that the person who wants some performance out of this product is going to have it at every level. Their muscles are going to work properly, they're going to get a benefit and they're going to see differences in their muscle, but they're going to be enabled to do the work and use the muscle. So if we go to the next slide, which is, um, yeah, I guess it's nutrition that works as hard as you do. From what I've been talking, I think that's, that's pretty clear. When do we use a product like this? Well, you would use it pre-workout for the simple reason that, as I've been saying, you need energy, you need fuel in order to go and do work and enable your muscles to um, actually perform. And that could be, as I say, not just because we're talking about bodybuilders here. Remember I said our muscle, the contraction of our muscles is what our, allows our body to perform any form of activity. So whatever your chosen sport is, you need energy to do that. But having done that energy, having done that work, um, your muscle is now demanding repair, it's demanding nutrients. And so it's very, very receptive directly after exercise. And so that's when you would use it for recovery, optimal muscle building, and of course, repair. And again, timing is very important. Um, we need to use the product perhaps between two, two hours, one hour before the workout if you choose to. But very important, it should be within one hour of your exercise that you've been performing, particularly if it's been quite strenuous on muscle tissue. If we go to the next slide, um, I think this pretty much says it all and something I think we can all be very proud of is that we really do, we make a promise and we say that there's nothing potentially dangerous in terms of stimulants in the product, no artificial anything and I've already shown you that and in fact we stand by the product completely by saying that we guarantee that it's free of any substance that is currently banned um, in any organization and we've just referenced some of them but very important obviously the International Olympic Committee and and WADA or the World Anti-Doping Agency. So I think that's something that people can be very, um, you know, they can be reassured when using the product that they will actually perform at their peak. But let's face it, sports people, particularly elite sports people, it's their career. So they have a reputation and a career to concern themselves with. So we want to stand by them and be their training partner. And that's why we make that promise to people using our products. So should we go on to some questions and answers? Fantastic, Liz, absolutely. Thank you so much. Um, you really hit all the unique selling points of that product. Um, great, yes, we have had some questions that have, that have come in and we're gonna get through as many of them as possible, Liz. Um, I'm gonna read them out to you and then you can um, give us an answer if you're okay with that. Yeah. The next question is from Vivian Jacobs. Uh, she would like to know, will Neolife Shake be withdrawn from the, or, and the Neo, will the, the Nutri Shake and the Neolife Shake be withdrawn from the market? That's her first question. No, not at all, no. And as I say, they are position products and, we, and we'll sort of probably reference where they fit in you know, according to the other questions that we've come in. But um, no, not at all. We, okay. This is a niche product, the other one. So they're not going to take the place of one oh, another. Fantastic. And is the soy... And the Neela Shake and the Nutri Shake non GMO. Absolutely. In fact, we don't use any genetically modified ingredients in anything. Um, so, not in those two products and not in the new one either. Great. Okay. So, no GMO products in any of our nutrition. And the, her third question is um, Is whey an animal product, i.e., derived from milk? Is it in all of our shakes? 
And are any of the shakes vegan? Okay, yeah, whey is, um, is taken from milk, derived from milk. So yes, it would be an animal sourced ingredient. Um, it is in all our shakes in various concentrations, but in this particular one, as I pointed out, it's the, it's the primary one. It's the one that we're focusing on. So it is in all the shakes, but um, more dominant in this one. And um, so the shakes are not vegan from that point of view. Fantastic. Okay. Next question from Anonymous. Um, what are the differences and similarities between the Neil Life Shake and the Sports Performance Shake? Okay, so it's quite a busy slide, but I think we, you know, we can just draw, just go through it very quickly. I think it's quite self-explanatory. Um, yeah, so the, we, we mix the performance protein now with milk, and the reason why we do that is to enhance the quality of the protein and the amount of whey that we are going to use in the protein. So that's why we mix this one with milk more specifically and the Neola shake with water. But obviously, one can play around if one doesn't want to use the milk, but you're going to, you're going to optimize your whey protein if you take it with milk. And um, you'll see then, therefore, that the, just by looking at those lists of protein sources, that we've shifted it around. And you'll see in this new muscle match protein blend, obviously the whey is the most concentrated compared to the, where it fits in, it's third on the list in, in the Neolife shake, for example. Um, with the milk, the protein content is, is higher in the performance protein, but all have the 22 amino acids, and they are just simply um, under the different concentrations of those 22, showing you the, the differences in the amounts of the amino acids. Um, just to draw your attention to the fact you know, that we have one flavor only with the um, performance shake, which is vanilla, but it's delicious and it froths up beautifully and somebody referred to it as actually having a dessert. It really is delicious. Um, and, if, and we have traditionally had three different flavors in the Neolife Shake, but both, both products, completely natural flavors. Both have a spread of vitamins and minerals. We have concentrated some of them, as I mentioned, the chromium and the magnesium is slightly more concentrated. And you'll see the sweetening system is um, slightly different. I think we, we can go onto the different, um, onto the different slide now. Um, both have excellent amounts of fiber and um, less sugars, as you'll see in the um, performance protein than in the Neolife shake. So there's a split over two different slides. I did just get to see both slides. Yeah, we did. We did. All right. Okay. Um, there's a lot, to do, a lot of information, but I think it's quite, you know, one can look back at this, at this slide and you'll be able to see the differences quite, quite clearly and the similarities. The, uh, this webinar will be recorded so uh, people can go back and reference those two slides. Um, next question by, uh, from Mr. Rayner. Um, why are the amino acids not listed on the label as in the Neolife shake? Yeah, listed, that's a good question. Actually, to be honest, they should be listed. And so we will, we will add them to the next um, print that run that we do because we have always um, consciously put them on our other products. This is, a typical, this is just a direct um, label from the US which they don't always list it. So we will do that in future. Fantastic. Okay, good. Um, next question by Lister. Um, there is a sweet smell to the product and some people have asked why. Well, I think we just, we've been boasting about our new sweetening process. So that's coming from the honey, basically, I think more than anything else. Um, yeah, it's a natural sweetener that should be in the product. So it's, I think it's quite pleasant actually. Okay, good. Uh, next question from Kerry Ann in Cape Town. Um, I've been asked why the excellent PDA, PDCAAS scores are, what the best scores are. Are you able to give us the actual score? And I think before you answer that question, can you just explain to us what is a, it's a long word, a PDA, PDCAAS score? What is that? Well, it stands for um, Protein Digestibility Corrected Amino Acid Score. Um, you know, it's a scoring system a measure of the quality and digestibility of a, of a product. So um, there's a very, sort of a mathematical calculation and you know, the criteria that the World Health Organization have put out. Um, so that's the background to it. But basically you can then test your product to see based on the, the, the amino acid spread that you have and the sources that you use to get your amino acids, you will come up with a, with a number or a scoring system. So um, we have a scoring system in fact, I'll give you two because the highest scoring system that we have on this particular product is 2.17, um, which is, in other words, the value of the highest one of the amino acids in that spread of 22. 
Um, but when we put them all together and get a, an average, um, the score is 1.58. Um, because it's a mathematical calculation, the World Health Organization have said that they've rated it between 0 and 1. So they consider 1 to be excellent. So in our, because we are, you have to correct the score and you calculate it, we've just given, I'm giving you the actual calculation for our specific product, which goes above 1. I don't know if that helps. The, it's quite a complicated factor. But anyway, those are the numbers. Does that okay. help you? Okay, that, yeah, that helps us. And are we able to, to easily get other scores from other products? No, I, I don't see people putting scores on their products, to be honest. I don't see it on, on labels in general. Okay. Um, and I, I so, guess being able to digest and absorb the protein that you're taking is a critical thing when, when supplementing with a protein product. Absolutely, yeah. There's no point in having something that you're not going to be able to utilize or digest effectively or get into the cell. So this is some sort of measure of those criteria all put into one little um, number value at the end. Okay. Okay, so that's a good question to ask. Uh, whenever you come across a protein product, what is the PDCAAS score? Are they prepared to, to advertise that? Uh, next question by Kiriain. What are our best recovery products? Um, well, if we're talking about sport, then this particular product, you, because you need, as I said, you need protein because that's a repair and renewal process. So Near Life Shake and the new um, sports performance protein would be appropriate. And, and the distinction I would probably make um, if you were doing a particularly strenuous level of sport, maybe running marathons, for example, um, where your immune system gets compromised, you know, you put a lot of stress on the body, then I, my, my favorite product would then be the, the sport performance product because it's got that extra glutamine. As you remember, I mentioned about the, the different 22 amino acids, the ones we've concentrated. And that's very specific for repair for your immune system. If you're doing general recreational activities and, you know, maybe exerting yourself, but not to that extent, then Neo Life Shake, I think, would be adequate or appropriate. I think Omega-3 Salmon Oil Plus important for recovery of muscles and soreness. Um, and then also your electrolytes or your, your minerals. So I think, again, if you're doing, doing something strenuous, probably even the multi-mineral plus alfalfa to bring in a different electrolytes and a whole variety of minerals. Um, but also chelated Kelmag would also have a um, part to play in the relaxation context and contraction and relaxation of muscles. Um, so that there's no cramping and um, fatigue in the muscle. So you'd want to look at minerals, you'd want to look at inflammation, which omega-3 would, would um, work on, and you'd want protein and carbohydrate for repair and renewal of the, of the cells of the muscle tissue. Great. And I guess when you talk about recovery, um, probably the start to a good recovery is to go into your, your activity or exercise with a very good base of something like a good daily uh, pro vitality pack. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, look, I mean, you're right. When you actually look at the whole picture, it's not just about, you know, they're not just isolated things because you feel like doing some exercise now, you'll take some supplements. Yeah. You know, there's a much bigger picture to it. Yeah, you, you, need, to, you need to fuel your body and, and condition it. Nutrition is a long-term game. Okay, great. Next question uh, from Tanya. What is the more effective shake for weight loss, the sports protein or the Neolar shake? Yeah, again, um, if, I was, if I had a sports person, let's, let's look at someone like um, in the gym, for example, perhaps a bodybuilder, where they want, to, they want to cut or get lean, but they also want definition of the muscle. So if, and many of them would perform an exercise for, for um, competition, for example, will rip or cut or whatever the terminology they use nowadays. Um, and so they want to stay lean. So I would use then sports performance product because it's virtually no fat in it at all. Um, it's going to enable the muscle to be defined um, and they're going to control their weight as a result. But if I was just a, um, someone who was just a recreational sports person or just somebody, an everyday person who wants to lose some weight, then um, I think that the new life shake would be perfectly appropriate because it's a full meal replacement. And I think also because it comes in three different flavors, it also adds variety to the diet. So um, again, remember this product, that's why we call it sports performance protein because it's you can see that it's going very specifically to someone who's doing something very specific, whether it's in the um, exertion level or in the weight loss level. Um, they are distinct. Okay, great, great. And for a breakfast meal replacement shake, uh, which is the better shake? Well, again, I think it depends on the person and the type of sport they're doing. Um, I think the Neo Life shake is, is um, perfect, also because it's lower in calories too, um, all round. So it will, it's a meal replacement. 
um, it will keep you lean and um, the variety is there in terms of the flavors. So I think for a, for a breakfast, probably the new life shake. Okay, great. Thank you, Liz. Uh, question from Lynn Banks. Is the product suitable for somebody who is allergic to dairy? Well, you know, it is dairy derived. So I guess the straight answer would have to be that it probably isn't, but, it, but allergies are individual things that really you know, dependent on how severe the allergy is. But, you know, basically the product is from dairy. So um, you'd have to be cautious about introducing it without that. The person who's going to use it needs to be the one who makes that decision. Okay, great. Um, and last question from Mallory Kutsia. I'm going to read this question in, in its entirety, Liz. Um, Neolife promotes whole food nutrition as a basis to their products. But I noticed this new performance protein has whey, milk powder, and caseinate, which are not whole foods. It's an animal product. My concern is there's so much research indicating animal products aren't good for your health. Why is an animal product used for protein? Is there not a whole food product that could have been used instead? Okay. Also, by using a food or vegetable instead of an animal product, we are able to expand into ever-growing vegan community, whereas now we're excluding them from our sales as they won't use this product. I know Neolife doesn't necessarily promote being vegan or, or vegetarian, but it does promote whole foods, i.e. fruits and vegetables and grains, etc. So I'd just like to hear the expert opinion regarding this. Uh, well, in fact, yeah. Um I think there's much, the distinction probably between perhaps whole food and wholesome food. Um, it doesn't mean because something is an animal-based product that it isn't a whole food. Um, and basically we've gone to milk, which is a food, and we've, we've taken nutrients from there. So as we do with our carrots or our tomatoes and carotenoid, for example, we, we extract from that actual food. So that's what we refer to as whole food. Um, as far as animal, you know, why have we chosen it? Because as I say, the product, is intended to be a facilitator for muscle tissue. It's meant to match the muscle tissue. And the protein from milk is going to do that. So that is the purpose for the product. So we have to use ingredients that are going to work, I guess, you know, is our reason for doing it. Um, just going to another product or source of protein, um, plant source does not have the spread of the amino acids that we are seeking, specifically the whey protein. Um, so that is the reason why we've chosen this particular source. Um, Right, let's just see what else she's saying. Using a vegetable instead of an animal, all right. Um, we aren't, I mean, obviously some vegetarians do drink milk, but you're right, we, we're not catering specifically in this case to the vegan community, so that, that's a valid point. Um, in terms of animal products being, or animal sourced ingredients being bad for our health, most often we're talking about the fat content um, in your animal-based products. And here we have not used the fat. We've actually got, so we're specifically saying use non-fat milk when you're mixing with it. And I think the product probably has just under one gram of fat in it. So it's really not contributing any saturated fat to the diet, which is usually the concern with animal sourced ingredients. So um, I'm not sure if that answers the question. Is there anything else in there? Yeah, I think that answers it well. You know, and I think an important thing to note is Neolife will never compromise on any of its ingredients. And very often, you know, the market trends go in one direction, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be better for our products. Um, and near life science will, will never um, compromise on that integrity to make sure whatever products or raw ingredients are used in the products, they're going to do what we need them to do in our products. So, um, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. The product, yeah, at the end of the day, the product is intended for a purpose and it has to work or perform that, you know, that function. So we have, we have gone to the whole food in terms of the milk source, um, which is still a food, and um, so that the product can perform the way it's intended to. Fantastic. And uh, Liz, thank you so much. Just, just in closing, um, we, we unfortunately didn't get around to answering all of the questions. We're out of time. Um, so please keep a lookout for our questions and answers blog post where we're going to answer all the other questions that came in uh, that will be coming out. Um, so go and like our Facebook page, Neil Life South Africa, if you haven't already. That will notify you of this blog post and all other updates. And a recording of this webinar will also be available for you to share with your team and other sports-focused active people in your communities. And that replay is going to be available on www.shareneolife.co.za as it is on the screen.
Uh, for all of our distributors on the call, uh, I just really think this is a great opportunity for, uh, for you to get out there and, and make a positive difference in your communities, specifically with the sports-focused, active people with a really incredible product, uh, a unique product on our market. And for our guests on the call, um, you know, there, there's just so much confusion, hype, and misinformation in the nutrition and supplement w world. And it's important to note that not all nutrition is created equal. And I, I truly believe Neolife is a place that you can call your nutritional home, a place where you can get your questions answered, you can get products and nutrition that are, that are based in nature, backed by science, without the hype and without the, the latest fads. And um, your know, nutrition is not only for sports focused people, but also for your family. You know, it's, you know, when is the best time to start your nutrition? Now, right, right now, wherever you are is the best time to start your nutrition program. So um, I just encourage you to all get onto this product, test this product. I look forward to hearing your testimonies coming in. And I want to thank you for your time. Liz, thank you for spending your evening on the call with us tonight. We so appreciate that. And to the rest of you on the call, God bless and have a fantastic week.